Hello everyone, welcome back. So as this course is about entrepreneurship, rural entrepreneurship, so from the very beginning we have been discussing about all the positive things about entrepreneurships and entrepreneurial journey. We are discussing all the nice and good things regarding entrepreneurship. And for a change uh, from previous sessions, we have started discussing about intrapreneurship as well and its importance towards an uh, organization and enterprise and its interrelation with entrepreneurship. So in this session, we will discuss about some adverse consequences of too much entrepreneurship. So a successful business is also a result of a good teamwork. So if everyone will go and uh, will become entrepreneur and will everyone will aspire to become an entrepreneur, then who will do a good teamwork, a solid teamwork in the existing enterprises? Potential intrapreneurs are also needed to uh, conduct a good teamwork in the enterprises. To grow and develop a business which we have discussed in previous sessions so an entrepreneur must create a such an work culture in his her enterprise that will make feel every intrapreneur like an entrepreneur other reason is that uh, too much entrepreneurship leads to too much plundering of resources which is not good for environment and society there must be some experts, some uh, a team of experts who can guide the budding entrepreneurs regarding the optimum utilization of resources. And again, too much entrepreneurship creates pressure on the credit system, on the financial institutions of the country. Because every uh, entrepreneur requires some seed capital to start the business venture. And distributing too much loans is definitely a matter of pressure for uh, financial institutions. And too much entrepreneurship ultimates uh, and too much entrepreneurship ultimately leads to attrition from the existing enterprises, due to which it becomes difficult to scale up a business. And in rural entrepreneurship, it is very important that a business idea must have the ability to replicate. Because replicability creates a strong network of rural areas. So that's why an entrepreneur must deploy its intrapreneurs to various regions to replicate its business its business ideas for the growth and development of rural areas and to create a strong network so that resources can be exchanged, manpower can be exchanged and even ideas can be exchanged. Sometimes self-employability is also considered as entrepreneurship which is not the truth actually because uh, entrepreneurship is about creating an impact in the society, in the market and in the economy overall which self-employability doesn't do. Self-employability doesn't create jobs. So there must be a team of experts who can guide these budding entrepreneurs regarding business ventures. And too much entrepreneurship will definitely create a huge competition in the market, which will ultimately compel all the uh, entrepreneurs to uh, reduce the prices of their offerings. And that will also ultimately lead to the quality degradation of the offering, which is indeed a not a good thing. Everyone uh, deserves to have uh, good quality products, to have good quality offerings, services. And yes, again, too much entrepreneurship can reduce manpower in the organization, definitely due to attrition. And this intrapreneurship is also required to foster the future talent to create a uh, ambience of uh, ambience which can nurture the talent then only potential entrepreneurs can emerge 
in long run in future after certain generations because ideas keep on propagating from generation to generation if the ideas are strong enough and entrepreneurship is definitely that helpful to foster future talent to uh, nurture the required talents to nurture to create the uh, required amount of uh, ideas and uh, a strong uh, work culture is also uh, created through entrepreneurship so friends uh, in this session we have discussed about some uh, adverse consequences of too much uh, entrepreneurship and uh, even in coming sessions also we will uh, discuss something uh, regarding entrepreneurship as well and the role of entrepreneurs to nurture entrepreneurship so that's all for this session friends take care goodbye